guys, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals. Um, thought I'd shoot a video today. Um, I did a lot of thought into putting this video together because I had some people tell me I should should make this video and uh, should should do this. Um, I was hesitant on doing it, and because uh, uh, I, I guess in some ways it's kind of be like tooting your own horn, um, so to say, you know, so to speak. Um, but <clears throat> anyways, um, my wife told me I should just go ahead and do the do the video, so I figured I'd do it. Um, this summer, uh, I built a, uh, a sawmill, um, and, um, I also, I built a cabin that I'm in now, and, um, I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, show you the cabin here and show you what I did and how I did it a little bit, um, but, uh, I guess this is the part where I, you know, I'm, I didn't want to say I'm too my own horn, because um, uh, my wife, she's the one that did it. Um, I mean, I built the cabin, but uh, we are going to be featured in uh, the new Pioneer magazine. Um, we're going to be on the front cover. It's kind of like wow, it's crazy, you know. We're actually on the cover of a stinking magazine. It's like wow, but. Um, Anyways, that will be coming out um, this, the end of this month, is January, um, the end of the month, I think it's the 24th, it's um, called The New Pioneer, um, it's an awesome, awesome magazine, um, they have a lot of good, good things in there about, um, you know, living off the land and, and all, all kinds of stuff, I mean, just, just, how to do different things, uh, just just a lot of useful information in that magazine. It's a good, really good met, uh, magazine. If you get a chance, check it out. Um, it's uh, again, it's uh, the New Pioneer. Um, we're also <laughs> in another magazine. Uh, we're not in the cover, but uh, it's uh, Cabin Life. Um, you've probably seen it in in stores and stuff like that, but. Um, we are in the, I believe it's the December issue. Um, it's December or January issue, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's the Janu now that I think about it, it might be the January issue. Um, but um, anyways, it's December or January, one of them issues. But we, uh, we're actually in that magazine too. Um, it's like crazy. Um, my wife uh, wrote the articles in, in both magazines, um, my wife is going to have several um, articles in the uh, the magazine, the New Pioneer, um, down down the line too. Um, she's a very, I uh, guess I'm kind of bragging <laughs> a little bit, but uh, she's a good writer. Um, I'm happy for her. She loves to do it, and I'm happy she's gotten the opportunity to do this, uh, something she's always like wanted to do. So, uh, good job, babe. And uh, with that being said, um, again, those uh, magazines are The Cabin Life um, and The New Pioneer. Um, and uh, get a chance, go check them out. See what you think of the articles and uh, like I said, my wife's going to be um, writing some more in, in the new Pioneer. Check that magazine out. It's an awesome magazine. So, I guess with that being said, I'm going to show you around here, show you what I did. It's not done um, as far as the furnishing, and I'm going to put a loft in yet and, and stuff like that. But uh, it's, um, I mean, the basics of it is, is pretty much, it, it's done. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna I'll show you around here. All 
All right. This is um, where you would, I'm gonna try and stand over here. Um, there's the door. Um, I made the door. I wasn't sure how that would turn out because I also made my own hinges for on the door. Um, I, uh, it's an inch and a half thick solid door. And uh, I'll show you the hinges here on it. Um, there, there are the hinges that I made for it. Um, I, I needed to coat them, but uh, um, so there's the there's the hinges. Um, I'll show you the back side of them. Right there, you can see see them. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure how that uh, door would turn out. I never made it made a door quite like that, and you know, cut the the knobs in and stuff. And it turned out really good. It closes really nice. Um, so then you come come around here, um, straight in the door. We're looking from the door now. Um, I notched, you know, I cut notches here. I notched this back in, and. Uh, up there and then up at the top I notched you know notched that into into this main main beam and um, I have that support that runs from the floor all the way up to this main beam that runs horizontal and then I have another one that goes up and supports the ridge pole and the uh, center of the roof. Um, so, and then I uh, I took that's a three inch by eight inch um, ridge pole that runs down down through there. Um, I made uh, I made these these. Uh, uh, rafters um, they're six by six rafters so I shouldn't have to worry about the roof going anywhere and they're on uh, five foot centers so I shouldn't have to worry about uh, about the roof going anywhere um, so you come in the front door and uh, you look off, I'm looking in from in the front door now. You look off to the right. Uh, for right now, we just have a cot, two cots there. And um, then you're looking straight out the back. And then um, over here, I have an air mattress. My cousin's been staying in, living in here. So um, here's some of his stuff. But. Uh, yeah, and come around. It's um, the cabin is uh, it's a twenty by I think it's sixteen if I remember right. It's twenty long. Uh, I think it's sixteen wide. I, I forget exactly. Um, I should remember that. But um, eventually, uh, come over here. Eventually, um, above. Give you an idea here. On, on that side, up, up in, in this area here, um, I'm going to put a loft up in there. So uh, when you come in the door, um, to your right, up above, will be, uh, will be the loft area. Um, so it's like a, an 8-12 pitch roof. Um, the logs are all um, six by sixes. I milled them um, square um, and beveled the edges. Um, I cut the and notched the corners here. So. Um, how I how I did those, and you can't hardly see. I'll I'll take you outside and uh, show you. But um, 
what I did, what I did was, uh, um, I took it and uh, they're they're squared. The logs are are, are square. So in the corners, um, I left a six inches hang out over. But what I did is I cut down into the log um, three inches down and made a notch. I cut several cuts and then I chiseled out that the saw cuts um, and uh, and they fit flat together, nice together. Um, like I said, I'll take you outside here and uh, show you um, show you how it looks from the outside. Uh, it's snowing pretty good right now, so you get to see some snow. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just thought I'd I'd show you this. Um, I said I'm by no means trying to toot my own horn. I made the floor. I'll show you the floor. The floor is two inches thick and it's shiplap. Um, so there's, you know, it's got a good solid floor on it. Um, yeah. Um, I guess with that being said, we'll, we'll go outside and uh, I'll show you the outside. Alright, going towards the door here. And, uh, whew, it's bright out there. I am going to be putting a uh, porch. This is just a temporary porch for right now. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to be putting a porch on here. It'll be um, 8 foot in width and the length of the cabin. So, there you can kind of see how I... I did the corners. If you want to see uh, some pictures um, of this, um, you can go to. Uh, I think my wife has them on her website, and uh, it's uh, mountainwomanjournals.com. And um, there's also another one we have uh, called uh, givingagift.com. And uh, if you go go there, um, I think she's got some pictures up. If not, she will have some pictures up of the building process and stuff. So let's go out here. Um, you can kind of see here, back up so you can see how it looks. Like I said, this is a, a temporary porch. Um, the porch will go the length of the cabin and eight foot out. So you won't have to worry about uh, snow on the uh, on the steps there. Um, let's go over here to the side. Um, there you can kind of see the side. I made uh, made this made this uh, two foot overhangs, um, kind of protect the the wood and stuff. Um, these are. These here are uh, 10 by 8 that I have. I milled. Um, and then there is uh, concrete pillars that I, uh, I made there to kind of keep it up off the ground a little bit. Um, it's, uh, let's go around here to the other side. I have a, it's like three, three foot across base under them pillars, six to eight inches deep, and then the pillars come up out of, off of those bases. So, um, there you can kind of see, um, this side, um, this, this, the way I made this, it puts them together really, really nice. Um, here you can kind of see they're notched here and come down over top of this one this one fits over there and they just like keep going up um so for right now we got uh propane heat in the in the cabin um it's 
been snowing quite a bit today. So, that give you a little bit of a look from the back of the cabin. Um, so, like I said, um, please don't, uh, don't think I'm trying to toot my own horn here. Um, we, uh, something we needed to get done. Um, so, uh, kind of have a little guest cabin. And, uh, it was kind of, it was a lot of fun building. So, um, anyway, uh, back inside here, um, let's see if I can get this set up here, um, yeah, I was thinking as I was out there walking around, um, <laughs> I, uh, like I said, I, by no means, um, Trying to toot my own horn. Just doing a little thinking as I was out there walking and showing you guys stuff. Um, I actually built the cabin and it was uh, four and a half weeks. Um, that's milling all lumber, um, pulling the pulling the trees, um, everything. Um, like I said it was a lot of a lot of work. A lot of blood and sweat, um, but uh, I think it was worth it. Um, had a had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah, I thought uh, I'd show you this. I know I said I was going to show you the floor when I was in here before, um, but uh, I forgot to do that. So I think what what I'll do here is I'll show you the floor quick. Um, here, let's uh, I'll show you here. Um, <clears throat> there, you can see um, there is some grooves in there, but it's uh, shiplap. Um, so, and they're they're two two inch um, thick floorboards. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about them going anywhere, um, but, uh, and I also was, was thinking too, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking earlier, uh, I said that the, um, the Cabin Life magazine was, uh, a December or January, um, I was, totally wrong on that. It's actually February um, 2013. Um, it's not, it wasn't January or February. My mind was, but sorry about that. But it is, it is um, February, the February issue of Cabin Life that we're going to be in. And uh, January, I think it's like 24th or something like that of, of uh, um, the new Pioneer magazine um, that we're going to be in. So, um, yeah, I hope uh, hope you guys enjoy this um, little cabin that I built. Um, have any comments? Leave me <clears throat> leave me some comments and let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to toot my own horn in any way. Um, so uh, don't think that. I thought of something else that I should have showed you when I was out showing you those uh, concrete pillars. I um, have rebar coming up through them out of the, the main base and then up into the pillars and then out of the pillar um, there's a piece of half inch um, bar sticking up out of that that goes into the, um, into the, the beam that runs the beams that run this way, the length of the cabin. Um, they, they're up in almost all the way up, drilled all the way up in through, and, and the logs set on top of those beams to keep, help keep it from sh shifting. Um, the, log, the beams set on top of those, uh, re that rebar. Um, 
And then in the walls, um, I have uh, I have all the every log got pinned. Um, some of the logs, like I here on the <clears throat> the uh, end walls, they were pinned. Um, each log was pinned two different places, um, like here and here. There was two pins that were drove down through to help keep the logs from shifting anyway. And I also used, uh, in between each log, I used uh, subfloor adhesive to help keep it, you know, seal the crack and also help keep it from wanting to shift. Um, so, um, I guess, uh, with, uh, that being said, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys watching, watching these videos, uh, I, uh, it's amazing how many numbers, and I know I don't have near numbers like some people have, I mean, some people are, it's insane how many, uh, views their videos and stuff have. But um, to me, it's kind of crazy that you guys actually want to watch this stuff. It's, I enjoy doing it, and uh, so it's uh, it's pretty cool that uh, people are actually wanting to watch this stuff and see what I'm I'm doing. Um, so uh, I guess with that being said, um, take care and, and God bless and uh, wish. Uh, Wish everyone a, a happy new year, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Alright, take care.